Validation is used to check whether the data that has been input follows specific criteria and should be accepted. There are six types of validation check we're going to look at. A range check checks that numerical data is within a given range. In this example, only people who are 14, 15 or 16 years old, that's year 10 to 11, can sign up for a basketball tournament. So 15 would be accepted, 13 and 17 would not, and 14 would be accepted in this range check. A type check checks that the data is a certain data type. In this example, the shoe size has to be an integer. So 7 is accepted because it's a whole number, but S-E-V-E-N is a string, so it's not accepted. 10 is accepted, but 8.0 is a real or float value, so it is not accepted. A length check checks the number of characters in the data. For example, a games company requires new usernames to be between 5 and 12 characters. The first three usernames here are all between 5 and 12, but the best game ever is more than 12, so it would not be accepted. A format check checks that the data is entered in a specific way. A common type of format check is for an email address to make sure that you've got the at sign. In this example, a date of birth has to be written with day day slash month month slash year year. So the first example is not accepted. The second example is. You might think that the third example should be accepted, but the two middle values represent the month and there is no 14th month. And finally, the last value is not accepted because they've used four digits for the year when only two are accepted. A presence check checks that data has actually been entered and a text box has not been left blank. In this example, it is very obvious to see that there's only one data field here which has broken the presence check, which is the third one, because nothing has been written. A lookup check, sometimes called a table check, checks the data is from a table of accepted values. In this example, a restaurant only allows breakfast, lunch and dinner to be selected. So lunch and breakfast, the top and bottom values are accepted, but supper and diner would not be accepted because they are not within the table of accepted values.